A water crisis looms in Accra as four out of 12 filters operating at the wager treatment plant in Accra remains dysfunctional. A water quality assurance officer at the wager headworks of Ghana Water Company Limited, Mr. John Sobogri, said the situation is increasingly accountable for limited production and the intermittent water supply experienced in the region, a report by Shelley Dewa. I agree with you that all of us need water, all these institutions need water. That is why we trust Ghana Water Company, that's why we have entrusted these services onto them. And therefore, have you seen any other entity coming into the water sector to operate, especially in the urban sector? They are the sole, are sole, sole operator in, the, in, in this sector. And therefore, we all look up to them to be able to fulfill our needs, satisfy our needs in terms of water resource. But if you don't shift the problem to government, it's an operational issue. So what solutions? Issue. So in this case, this what solutions would you would you um, advise, or what would be? No, what from the way the problem is, is technical. It means they have to replace the filters. That is the bottom line. They have to get money to replace the filters because other than that, the eight left will also collapse because it might mean that they are also nearing their lifespan, or because of the volume of water and the. The, the kind of things that pass through the filter, that is what is degrading them. And therefore, they have to prepare. The bottom line is they need money. And they're not playing the government to give them money. You see, yes, we cry and we go to the government, the government gives them money. When they collect the revenues and all those things, my issue is how much did they set aside for prisons and maintenance? Right. And how, why do they have to wait for all this to break down before they go to the government to look for money? 